As far as pitching mechanics are concerned, the windup is where we're going to spend the majority of our time on the mound. I'm Mike Billick for InsideBaseball.com. In the fourth and final progression in the flat ground series is the windup drill. The starting position for this particular drill is going to be the ready position on the mound as if we were getting our sign from our catcher. So go ahead and face your target, Stephen. You've gotten the sign. All right. Now the key is we want to make sure that we have a quiet head. When our head moves around, our target moves around. So if we can keep our head nice and still or quiet, our target doesn't move at all. It makes it that much easier for us to deliver a strike into the strike zone. Okay, so we're going to take a small step, rotate, rub our knees together as we come up to balance, hold for a two count, and then deliver the pitch. Very good. Okay, go ahead and take a nice small step, pivot our foot, rub our knees together as we come up to balance, a hold, and deliver. Very good. Key point here that you guys may not have caught on is that I'm telling Steven to rub his knees together as he comes up to balance. And you may ask, why is he saying that? The reason is, is because when we have our body and our knees get away from our body, it makes it much harder to balance. If we can think about being tall and narrow, it gives us a much better opportunity and puts us in a better position to where we can hold balance and deliver the pitch effectively. Okay, Steven, this time I don't want you to hold. I just want you to move through. The first couple times as Steven delivered the pitch in the drill, he, d he held that balance for a two count. Now that we've established balance and we've established that we can maintain balance, we're going to do more of like a game-like situation as he's going to do his mechanics more fluidly. Very good. Give me one more. Nice quiet head, small step, very good. Very good. One more, finish on a good one. The, the wind up drill is the final progression in the flat ground series. Do eight to ten reps and make sure that you start with the stand up drill, then move to the knee to knee drill, then to the balance drill, and finally the wind up drill. You can do this before you pitch in a game as before you do your bullpen routine or you can do it in a practice setting just to really hone in your pitching skills. I'm Mike Billick for InsideBaseball.com.